Oh snap. We all jacked up trying to trying to be on two screens. We're working out. Okay. Hey y'all. We gonna give y'all time to join us as we always do. Hopefully everybody's doing good tonight. Let's keep the party going. Babe, anything interesting happened today to you? I woke up. That is a great, <laughs> great, great thing. Shoot, that's the that's the best thing ever. Yeah. Woke up and was just kept moving, just kept moving. <laughs> just keep moving, moving, moving. Mm. Like I did. Hmm. But then, uh, Where y'all at? One more minute. One more minute. Una momento. Tacos. <laughs> Taco, tequila, Taco Bell. Did you say tequila, Taco Bell? You know it's what? Taco Tuesday, huh? And I had catfish and chicken. Two people have joined us on the Facebook feed. What up, Facebook feed? Hey, Facebook fam. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it lets us see us. Sometimes it doesn't. All we can see is that you're here. Right, right, right. All right, well, like I said, like, uh, Ronnie said, hope everybody's day is going great. Um, so we're coming to you with um, a topic we actually got from a conversation going on with uh, this rapper named Myson. Yeah. Um, so he was having a discussion about um, being in a relationship and he used uh, Papoose and Remy as a kind of an example of how a guy um, will. You know, hey, Mika. Well, how Papoose basically, you know, was a rider for Remy. Um, we always talking about females being riders, but sometimes, you know, some females need dudes to, you know, be riders too. So Papoose was dead when she got locked up. Murray, why she was locked up? All, all of this, and um, from what we see on the outside, look on the outside, it looks like, you know, they're a tight couple. Um, they think. You know, they ride for each other type of situation. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what, what really got me is because he made a comment. And he's, what his comment was that threw me was he said that in a, rela a relationship doesn't work. It's his opinion. Mm -hmm. if, if you both have the same amount of love for one another. He feels that someone... Should love more than the other one. Mm -hmm. I was confused by that. Me too. And so he started trying to break it down by saying, if you are both in a relationship and you both uh, have alpha tendencies, then and you both, ev even far as with the love or whatever, it become a problem. So he was stating that um one example that, that I can remember, he said, So if you about to go on an interview and your significant is like, Well, if you go on the interview, I hope you wear that blue shirt, don't wear that red shirt. Instead of, baby, you gonna kill this interview. No matter what, right? He said that's where he feels because that person has a little more love to give than the other person has, right? Where they love that person a little more, more than they probably love themselves or somehow he put it right. So I guess I understood what his example was. I still don't I think I agree with the other part. Um, and we should be more encouraging to to 
not significance, you know what I mean? Because I used to always talk about how hard it is for being a, a black man in this country. So when we go out in the world, it's already hard because like, we got like two strikes. <clears throat> but it's just hard for women. So um, some of that we got to you know share, you know what I'm saying? So they go out and deal with certain things just like we go out and deal with certain things. And it may be different things, but we should give them just the same amount of support as we want from them. You know what I'm saying? So So my question is how is it that if if that one person has to love more than the other person for the relationship to work? Do you feel like that's the that's the case in every relationship that there's always one person that loves more than the other person or is there just different types of love? I'm going to say different. For me, I'm going to say different types of love. Uh, I'm, I, I am a firm believer in uh, one person should, uh, not one person, I apologize. Let me say, I feel that for me, Ronnie, I'm going to always put Ronnie first, right? Thanks, boo. But in the same token, it it really works if Ronnie has the same energy. What's up, Craig? If Ronnie has the same energy and put me first. So if I'm putting her first and she's putting me first, right, and it's that's a win-win. What, that's you know what I'm saying? I feel. It's not like, oh, I'm about to get upset with him because he's trying to give me a, a better gift than I'm getting him. And, you know, because that's what that guy was saying. But hold on. We have a comment on the floor, too. Um, there is no way in a real relationship for one to love more if it's real love. It's encouragement, support, companionship. Um, I like I said, I, I, I agree. I, agree. Um, I, I believe that you can love differently. I ain't gonna say more because I can be loving all. I can be giving my all, right? And they and she can be giving her all. But it's just in different ways. So mm-hmm. I can't say mine is better than hers or she's loving me better or more. More. It's just and different. You know what? One thing we always say, you know, Dre may say I love you and I'll say I love you more. And he'd be like, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> like, we have that thing going on. We go back and forth like, nah. Well, yes, I do. No, 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 you don't. What up, Mo? What up, Craig? Um, What's going on, Andy? Yeah, I, I just... Yeah, I, I just don't understand that part about someone has to love someone more. I, I, I just don't get that. I think we should love, we both should love, you know, with what we have. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't think it's a more. It may be different, but I can see more. Um, like, Ronnie might be more um, vocal with it, right? Mm. I may not. Did I mean Ronnie loves me more because she's more vocal? Why? Because I say I love you more than he does? Right. Because... Maybe he doesn't express his love in that way. Right. It may just be a, you know, I like to say it. He like to show it in the silent type, you yeah. know. Yeah, so that doesn't mean no one loves. Again, that's, I think it's a love. That's the difference in when you love someone. Um. So, again, I, I really couldn't wrap my head around that part, what he was saying. I, I mean, like I said, some of the parts I got, you know, um, about the encouragement or whatever. But I think that should go both ways. I don't think that has anything to do with she encourages more because she said I mean that she loves him more because she encourages more. That's just what she does. You know what I'm saying? Ronnie is Ronnie. Mm-hmm. I can't be Ronnie. I'm me. She can't be me. Nice to meet you, me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. It's real love equal across the board. Exactly. Um and again, it's not about. But you do have relationships like that. Like somebody might say, let's say, okay, boom, prime example. So Valentine's coming up. Mm. So just because this dude, he love you all this, but let's say financially he's not at a place to go buy diamonds and all this stuff. So he went and got chocolates, you know, because that's what he can afford. But he wanted to do something. So his heart and what he gave his last to get this box of chocolates. But then you go to work. And your girlfriends, whatever, talk about they men and you know, men did woo woo woo. And then you feel some type of way. He ain't Doesn't good. mean he, he yeah. You got Snickers. Yeah, you know <laughs> what? what I'm saying? Like, 
okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, situation might be different. So, uh, like I said, I, I just feel that there is a difference. Uh, and then it shouldn't be emphasis on certain things. And these things should be addressed, I think, in the beginning of a relationship. If you're one of those people that's, like, that's that's a thing for you. Like, I look back to five oh. line language. If you into gift, you like to receive gifts all the time. But then you're not with a person that's a gift giver. But everything else on the board is good, but he just don't. That's not his thing. Had a situation. This young lady was dating a guy. And he's not a shopper. That's just not what he do. So he's not into what the latest female stuff is. Um. So she loves this certain football team. So he's a guy. He's in the sports. That's easy for him. So he went and bought her the team purse with the shawl. Uh, I think he got her like the, the socks. and You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She was like, what the hell is this? Mm. Like, are you serious? And so she felt she was dropping hints the whole time. She wanted this bag. Um, I forget what bag, but it was a bag. She wanted this purse. And, you know, and she was saying she was dropping hints and this, that, and the other. And again, he wasn't picking them up. Again, he not, you know, that's not what he do. Now, she should have appreciated the gifts that he gave. I agree. Her. I agree. You know what I'm saying? He did go out. And did something, you know, yeah. um, and he did the best with what he had and the knowledge that he had. But some some people are, um, is that ungrateful? Yeah, you, you got know what me saying? thinking because like, now is it ungrateful? I apologize for making you take that bracelet back. I was grateful. <laughs> but yeah, it's like Dre I, bought Dre bought a, a uh, stupid mm-hmm. stupid bracelet. For uh, Christmas for me, and I did not accept the bracelet. Does that mean I was ungrateful, or I was trying to look out for the household and cost? Well, mm-hmm. me personally, um, but that was a learning experience. It lets me. It was a reminder. So Ronnie's not into, like that's not her thing. Like, oh, okay, cool. You got me, you know, down bracelet. Ooh, but it's not her thing. Thing, you know what I mean? Like she's like. Okay, that would have been oh, she'd have been appreciative. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I was appreciative, but it wasn't. It wouldn't have been to the point as like okay, this, this is not my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm about making money, not spending it. So, um, <laughs> so anything to take away that that money, I'll be like, uh. Yeah. So nah. yeah, you gotta understand who you with, and then you gotta see now is is that a deal breaker? Because they're not gift givers or they're not um you know very expressive in their feelings now is that a deal breaker for you you know what i'm saying so again i'm not one to walk around and there's outward expression maybe it's wrong or whatever but does that make her again love me more or is it just we're different you know i love him more and, um nah. <laughs> so um that's the question like what do you guys think you know what i'm saying yeah, do you feel like when you're in a relationship, it's always you love more or they're loving you more? Right. I mean, I think in the case when it's two people, somebody may like the situation we just saw. Somebody may not love you at all. They just in a you know in a relationship. I think yeah. it's it's always case by case. You could yeah. be in a relationship and have somebody that does love you more. Maybe you're just not. Into it, I mean, yeah. I mean, now, if you're in a that, yeah. So if you're in a relationship, and the other person is really not there, uh, emotionally or you know mentally, or whatever, it's a whole different animal. Because you can love more you want, but if I mean, if they don't feel it. They don't feel it. Like that book, he's just not that into you. Is that what it is? Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. So you can do everything, and he did everything. You know, he could. He, he just. Everything you think of, him, but it and it was everything you could do everything for that person that you know that person's into. You trying to show all the love you can, but if that person is not connected to you, they're not connected to you. You can't get angry at them. You can't be mad at them. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just not connected to you, and that's good. You know it. Move on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know it's easier said than done, but you instead of continuing to hurt but keep on trying 
you have to at some point be like, okay, this person just not, they're just not into me. And how many people waste so much time being in those relationships where the person just isn't into you and you know it? But yeah, that's crazy. You know, that's they, crazy. They, they buy me nice things or, mm-hmm. you know, they mm-hmm. nice looking and, and we have fun together. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, it was a situation. I knew this couple, and that's one of the things. One of them was saying, "Just like we look good together." That was it. Was that says they look good together? That was all they had. That's it. Great yeah. woman. She is looking at the big picture regarding the f- finances. I feel that our love is equal to Williams. Exactly, Peter. Um, yeah. um, for instance, like uh, my man Paul on this joint. Him and his wife, you know, they partners all the way around business and everything. So they work well together. They not, they can bounce things off each other and everything. So not only just in the relationship, Paul and Terry, you know, Monica's his dog. That's his best friend and all. You know what I mean? So and I think that's great too. I think that's important also. Um, real real important. Um, he's one of them is another couple I look at that admire that uh that I admire. Uh, Rob Rob said no, you don't. Oh, Vanelli, this for you. You getting on you? Oh, you getting on me? Yeah, That's I see. My bro. I see the smiles on both of you. Happiness found you both. Understanding and true companionship is felt in a connection, like Drake just said. Boom! Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Miko, what's up, cousin? That was my story. Um, but yeah, so so I just feel like you know, um, again when we heard that uh the the podcast. It just had me puzzled. I had to call my listen to that. I had to, had to listen yeah, to like we I don't understand. Like, what? what do you mean you can't be with someone that don't love you more? But but after after he ex, he said it, he kind of explained more and it made a little bit of sense. Like if you have two very top heavy people in a relationship, very dominant, they're gonna go head to head instead of like joining each other and. Yin and yang, right, right. you know, making that thing connect. It'll be one that's always, you know, I gotta do this and make sure this happens, get this done. I'm not really tripping off of you. Why? Because they're both dominant individuals and they don't necessarily need each other to flourish. So without the other person, they are fine by themselves and they don't, you know, either way, it wouldn't bother them. So the two wouldn't work together. Yeah. Two headstrong individuals, um, because at some point in time somebody got to hum- someone got to humble, someone has to be submissive, and it's not always the woman that has to be sub- submissive. I mean, I know some people think wife got to be submissive and all. Sometimes, if you with your woman who's probably smarter than you or whatever case may be, it's okay to be submissive. Now, if she's smart enough, you gonna be submissive. Didn't you know you've been submissive. You know what I'm saying? I go back to the old scenario of good times. She wanted a new refrigerator. James kept ignoring the situation, kept putting it off. He came mm-hmm. home from work one day and was like, uh, I need a beer. She gave him a hot beer. He was like, why is this beer hot? Oh, baby, refrigerator out. I know you said you was going to get to it. I'm just letting you know. Mm-hmm. He went out and got a refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, no argument, no fights, no nothing. It was something he done. was an app. Um, so, uh, I just feel like he said something about being equally yoked. He said that if... Mm-hmm. The only way he can see it working is both individuals thought alike, looked at everything alike, and er- yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't think I agree with what he said. So we both have to be strong and weak for each other. I, agree. I, I like, hey, I, I like that. I yeah, like it. I like that. You have to be weak. So I'll give an example of how you have to be weak for each other in a relationship. I like that. You both have to be strong for each other and weak. Is that uh, be willing to be vulnerable? Yes. I, I, I would say yes. I'm just, I mean, speaking for me, I think how you be weak in a relationship, um, if you want to use that word, is sometimes that's going back to men being submissive. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's okay to take But you know what? I'm going to take the back seat on this one. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to always be right. Both parties. Woman don't have to always be right, and the man don't always have to be right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she's gonna be right. Sometimes he's gonna be right. It's not about I'm the head, so everything. No, if she has a better way, be smart enough and be the head to understand that that way is better. You know. And we were talking about that. I too. agree. Vulnerability. Yeah. Vulnerability. Okay. 
we, we were talking about that too. There isn't really a right or wrong. Everything in this world is based off opinion. There is no way to tell who is right and who is wrong. It's yeah. all based off of someone's opinion. So this is just a matter of you need to work together, you know, to figure out what works best for you. Yeah, what's up, Cap? Um, me and Ronnie was using this scenario today. Um, we can both look at, let's for instance, this wall. Ronnie might look at it and say, it's gray. No, I'll get one better. We had, we had a clock downstairs. And Ronnie was like, mm -hmm. we can move this green clock. And I was like, what green clock? Right? To when I look at it, it looks antique. So it looks brass. And it has some trace of some green or something on it. Whatever, right? So when she was saying green, cause maybe that's the first color to catch her eye. So she was like the green one. You know what I'm saying? So we looked at it different. Looking at the same thing. I was like, men are colorblind, so. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, it's brass, antique, whatever. I said, but I do see the green, you know, whatever. And I did see the brass. Yeah. So it was just one of them things. Like, we looked at it different. Then, but when we explained, instead of saying, no, it ain't green, it's brass. Or, no, it ain't brass, it's green. I said, no, baby. When I look at it, it looks antique. I said, oh, but I do see this trimmer right here where this green is. I said, but when I'm just looking at overall, it looks antique, which is like more of a brass looking. When she stepped back, she was like, I see what you're talking. I can see how you can see that. You see what I'm saying? So even if she necessarily didn't agree with what I'm saying, she understood what I was saying. And that's cool. It's not a right, right or wrong sometimes. You have to choose your battles on a relationship. Mm -hmm. Woo, Lord. Mm -hmm. While still having a mutual respect and understanding of each other's feelings. Exactly. Dre, what's good? Choose your battles. That's big. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. So I had a... <laughs> so I was talking to somebody earlier today, right? About that. Like how do you choose... You know, you choose your battles, whatever. Like to me, I feel like I'm a simple dude. You know what I'm saying? Like some things I'm firm with. Some Most things... I don't trip over. It's not too much. I really trip off of you know this day, you know this point in my life. Um, so we can be talking about something, and if I feel like the conversation is going too far, I just I'm talking. I just give in. Babe, you can do whatever you want to do. But she might come up like, no, 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 baby, let's. Now we get into that. Like, no, nah, babe, whatever you want. No, nah, babe, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. We um, argue over doing what the other one wants. Both of us, we yeah, you do. Is that what not, you want to do? No. Because <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is that important that I, I should be arguing with my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do it. Now, some things, I'm again, I'm firm on the firm. I'm like, babe, this is how I look at it. Now, I'm going to argue with you. I'm going to leave it at this. is how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? For and me. I let it go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's going to look at it more. She would be like, yeah, I look at it this way. And then come to... I mean, it ain't really a standstill, but it's like, this how I look at it. She'd be like, this how I look at it. And we kind of go, to, I don't know, somehow it works itself out. I don't know how or what. Escape said it. What I need from you is understanding. Hey, yes, I like that too. Communicate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, for me, it's not a big who oh, wow. Like some things, I just give in because it's not worth it. And I might still disagree, disagree, but at the end, but when I get the big picture, I'm like, is that worth arguing? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. who cares? Like, okay, so we, I can't see that. We's about to get, we getting a shed, right? So yeah. we had a, a, like, I wanted it one place. She might have wanted another place, right? Nah, I think it's, she got, nah, nah, nah. so eventually I was like, it don't, it's a shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to, it's a shit. It's not that serious. I don't care. We're going to use it to put stuff in. So I don't care where it goes at this point. You know what I'm saying? But originally, when she asked, this why I would like it. When she went into, yeah, hey, I don't want it there because that, da, da, da. okay, whatever. Um, so, um, you just told me not this oh, You don't facts. trip off of things because of your maturity and growth as a man. Facts, uh, Paul. Remember, we learn from our past. Exactly. Stand your ground. <laughs> Miko, stand, stand your, your ground. ground. That's why Miko Me is all see? by himself. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, nah, you you right, though, uh, uh, Peter. I, um, as we get older, you know what I'm saying? Because like you said, we probably been in relationships that we're bickering, going back and forth. And they did nothing but just make you bitter and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so a lot of stuff I don't Like I said, again. Certain things, uh, yeah, I'm like, babe, look, this, I, I don't like it or I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? It is. 
But because she know I, I would can see more than I'm firm. Mm-hmm. I think she'd be like, ah, right, he must be you no know, serious, serious about this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because ninety you know percent of the time he'd be like, eh, whatever yeah, you want to do, and right. I'd be like, what do you want to do? Right. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, you know, it's not that serious. So, um, yeah, you gotta look at the big picture, and that's with me now. I, I try to look down the road. I try to say, okay, even with me, you gotta start with this. Like sometimes. One of the things I, I know probably gets on nerves when she say certain things and I know what my response going to be and I already play it. So if I say this, she's going to think this or whatever. So it's not worth it. So I shut up. She thinks I'm ignoring her. I'm not. I'm just being good. I'm like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to say nothing about because I don't want to go. You know what I'm saying? So I just just mute. She's like, oh, you just ignore me? I'm not. I just, I don't want to, you know. Now I don't think he's ignoring me. Now I'll be like, why are you so quiet? What did I do? You mm-hmm. know? And he'll be like, no, baby, just, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. man, no, talk to me. I done made you mad. Yeah. And I'm like, nah. Let me catch her. Same to you, bro. We need to get that drink. Right. Right. Yeah. Waiting on you. I'll say when you're when you're oh when you're compatible having having each other be comfortable is effortless or should be. That's um, true. That's true. That I, I agree with that. Yeah. When you when you when you link and like I said, I know Wani disagrees with me with this part. Whatever. Every relationship, the, the, I just don't believe there's a perfect relationship because there's not a perfect I person. I don't disagree with that. Oh, okay, cool. At all. <laughs> so we're gonna have our ups and downs with our cases. But when like you say, when you're compatible, when you, you know it's right, I mean the bounce back game is so strong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I was just talking to Dre today about our birthday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's me going Paul talking to each other. Oh my bad. <laughs> when Rika said somebody drink, I was like, what? Oh Paul, yeah, you're right. Paul was talking about that. Um but yeah, so so that's how I look at, like I said, certain relationships. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can see and feel the maturity as I get old, as I'm growing into this new um, realm. Um, I'm taking it serious. So certain things, again, I, I, I kind of make sure I'm mindful of certain things. I got to be mindful of her. Um, I can't just think about myself. I can't be selfish and things of that nature. Um, but I still got work to do with it. And I, I understand and she's good with being patient with it, but um, because I love you <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I still like I said, when I listened to that thing today, and he said about uh, you know, he's just talking about how men should be riders just as much as well. What I took from it is men should be riders just as much as we talk about women being riders. Sis, I need to meet this man who helped you find your smile. I bring the greens. Hashtag fat. Ooh. Let me tell you something about his greens. His greens and his macaroni and cheese. Right. He got mean greens. He got mean greens. I've been waiting Bring on him. him. I've been waiting on him. Bring him. Let's em. go. You can't do that. Yeah, so. Hey, make sure y'all, um, for y'all that are watching, we have some that just watch us and are here every week. Please, please, if you haven't, go to our YouTube page and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. The Dre and Rose show. We put all of our episodes on there and some more, some extras. If you miss a show, it's on there. But if you can please support us and hit that like button or that subscribe button uh, to our show, that will be most appreciated. All right. So that was our um, topic. Anybody got any, more, any comments about it? But um, yeah, that was how we, you know, we took and looked upon that thing of, about uh, being evenly yoked or... Someone loving someone more and all that craziness. Um, again, these are just our opinions. We're not saying this for everybody. You know, some of y'all might feel that way that, you know, someone should love more, or whatever. And that's cool. I don't, I don't, I don't want no smoke with it. <laughs> it's called wisdom. Don't forget to pass that knowledge to the next couple. 
Hey, that's the whole reason we do this show. Definitely. <laughs> that's, and, we're, and we're learning in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we think we know it. That's what we, we, we're trying to help ourselves, too. Yeah, and that's why, Paul, like, isn't, like, I love for, like, you, Monica, you know, people that's been in this for, doing this thing for a minute. Um, I looked at you guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I feel the energy with you, you and Monica, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's nah, I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do this for that, not only to share to help other people, but shoot, we hope we want you guys to be sharing information to help us and you know other people, whatever the case may be. That's all. We just providing a platform. Definitely. So um, we are so open for not only couples but also singles. You want to uh, fellowship with us and get with us, get the guy to do that. We here. Destinies tied together make a beautiful tapestry. Man, hey, Al, you better he preach, boy. He preaching. So we got an offering plate. Right, right. 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 Al, I just don't preach. Dude. But yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, definitely for um, people that's been single. Look, I've been single more than longer than I'm married, so I probably got advice for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like y'all should have a show with a panel. Okay. We actually trying to, uh, somebody supposed to be coming over, hook us up. But on a camera situation, Hello. so we can really have a podcast. Keep talking and ain't doing. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> shoot. Yeah, you know I mean, but um, but yeah, so um, but yeah, but y'all you know, keep keep the questions coming. Um, keep tuning in. Um, it's only gonna get better. You know, what I'm saying we're gonna grow with y'all. Want y'all to grow with us. And um, you know, what I'm saying we here. You know, what I'm saying, and, and and just as much as some people, a lot of people like. We're needed. Um, we've heard people say that, like, man, y'all need it, you know, this and that. But guess what? We need we need y'all, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Again, we trying to create, like, a circle, you know what I'm saying, that we all can just bounce off each other so we can we can change the narrative and get, in case we have people that's not of, you know, color or whatever, that's not nothing against them, but they have a narrative that, like, black couples can't stay together. I want to change that, you know what I mean? And we can do that together. So, um, any information, any knowledge you have, um, we definitely, definitely, um, open ears. Miko said, we're going to make it happen. Taxes coming soon. I get the hookup. <laughs> I bet. Okay. What's up, mom? Hey, mom. Um, so it's that time, y'all. Um, so we're going to, we're going to push up, up out of here. And, um, like I said, this will be on for people just tuning in, you know, make sure you go to YouTube. She's going to, uh, upload this thing on there. So it'll be there. Um, and, you know, comment on it, too. So we can, you know, whatever you think. And we'll take some of that advice and maybe bring it next week. Mm-hmm. So, all right, Al. Um, so, yeah, hey, everyone have a good night. Keep us in prayer as we do for you guys. Love you. And we hold on, wait a minute. I'm oh, sorry. Love. We can make it happen. Podcast here at Girlfit. We have reopened the new space. Oh, boy. My man. My man. I bet. Hey, hey, Paul, we definitely going to talk then. Yeah. We, like I said, it's 2020. Trying to take this on to another level. You know Big what I'm saying? Big things happening, all right? All right. We love y'all. All right. Thank y'all. And again, for who those are just tuning in, hit that YouTube and, um, in about a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. All right. Hit me, Paul. Oh, all right. Paul, Mika say call him. Later. <laughs> <laughs>